Welcome to Sex Positive Gaming. I'm Annie, and today we're going to explore 10 different awesome parody games. Now, this is a very, very popular flavor, especially when it comes to media we experience during adolescence. While there is a massive biological component to our core sexuality and flavor preferences, what we are exposed to in our adolescence does have a significant long-term impact as well. The movies we watch, the games we play, and the books we read have a hand in shaping who we are and what we like. Our species collective history is built upon taking existing stories and ideas and putting our own interpretation on them. This is the fundamental basis of the evolution of folklore and culture. It stands to reason that this would also be a popular method to explore sexuality. Unfortunately, companies like Disney draw from this collective well of shared folklore and culture for their content and then deny others the same privilege. That makes it tough to see completed parody games. Fortunately, each of these 10 titles is either completed or is currently in development with a large amount of existing content. I tried to select a wide variety of these modern day folk stories, but I did make the decision to cover Harry Potter parodies next year. It is such a popular topic that there are enough games to make its own list. First up is Four Elements Trainer. This Avatar The Last Airbender parody was actually one of my very first reviews back in February. Usually I'd say go check it out, but my older videos really show how much better my current content is. I can only hope to continue to improve as much over the next year. Four Elements Trainer is broken up into four books, with each book having a noticeably different gameplay mechanic, story, and flavor focus. The art style is very true to the original series, and there are animations. The game is mostly done, and I'm hopeful for a finished version in time for the new CG movies and live-action Netflix series. Four Elements Trainer is available for PC, Mac, and Android for free on their Patreon. Next up is the completed Tomb Raider parody, Goons Raider. This plays like an old-school adventure from the King's Quest or Monkey Island series, and there are animations. I've gotta be honest, I was really surprised at how much gameplay there was, and how much fun I had given how ridiculous the title is. Check out my full review later this week. Goons Raid Her is available for PC for free on their Patreon. Next up is Behind the Dune. This is a completed title that I first covered in my science fiction flavor list. But I wanted to make sure I talked about it again because of the new Dune movie that just came out. Seriously, this is such a great parody and the animations are fun. I'm going to do a full review later this week, and I'd love to say that I'm just going to talk about the game and not talk about the book, the TV series, the movies, or how they did sting dirty, but that would be a lie. Behind the Dune is available for PC, Mac, and Android for free on their Patreon. I would be completely remiss if I didn't have a Star Wars parody on this list. Star Wars Episode 1 The Warrior's Heart takes place in the Star Wars universe with a new story and new characters. I mean, technically a galaxy far, far away would still be part of our universe, so the Star Wars universe would still be our universe, but you know what I mean. This is a shorter game, but there are animations. The developer has promised to make additional episodes if there is demand, so please feel free to politely nag them on their Patreon page. The Warrior's Heart is available for PC and Mac for free on their Patreon. I don't care what the retcons from the 2017 live-action movie are, Gaston is the true hero of Beauty and the Beast. I mean, can we really trust the people who wouldn't even allow Emma Watson a chance to sing for herself? Absolutely not. Fortunately, in the library story, you are given the chance to prove who the real hero is. You can ask any Tom, Dick, or Stanley, and they'll tell you whose team they prefer to be on. This game's art is gorgeous has some animations, and while it feels like it will take 30 years to finish, there is already a lot of content to explore. Library Story is available for PC, Mac, and Android for free on their Patreon. Next up is the Naruto parody, Jakaji Rising. This feels a lot like Four Elements Trainer, which is awesome if you enjoy Naruto. There are four planned arcs for the game. Arc 1 is complete and development is ongoing for Arc 2. The art style is very similar to the source material, and there are animations. I had no idea how many female characters there were in Naruto, but then again, I was never their target demographic. Jukaji Rising is available for PC, Mac, and Android for free on their Patreon. I first covered our next title, Conquered Hearts, in my video about trainer games. So this is a Kingdom Hearts parody, but isn't the Kingdom Hearts series basically already a parody at this point? This is getting too meta for me to think about. 
So there are different art styles based on the different franchises, but there are animations throughout the game. Development started in the summer of 2019, and we've already seen 11 builds, which is a really decent rate, and there are updates to the production roadmap posted pretty consistently on Patreon. Conquered Hearts is available for PC and Mac for free on their Patreon. Next up is the DC Universe parody, Something Unlimited. I first covered this management style trainer in my harem flavor video, and there are already 30 female heroes and villains to, um, recruit into your totally upstanding business enterprise. The art is good, looks like the cartoons from the 1990s, and there are animations. Regardless of how you may feel about the current state of DC, this is a fun exploration of some of their most iconic characters. Something Unlimited is available for PC and Mac for free on their Patreon. If we're going to talk about DC, it is only fair to also bring up Marvel. In Roguelike Evolution, you play as a newly discovered mutant, whose powers include immunity to other mutants, and more importantly, the ability to make your touch addictive. That's why I first covered this title on my list of corruption games. There are currently fewer characters to pursue than in Something Unlimited, but there is a greater focus on the training mechanics, as well as customizable outfits and modifications. There are also some limited animations. Roguelike Evolution is available for PC and Mac on their Patreon. And finally, I have the multi-parody title, Star Channel 34. Yes, this does include Harry Potter, but it also has the Jack series, Halo, Aladdin, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and more. There was no way I couldn't include it. It's fun, ridiculous, and there are animations. The first season of this game is complete, and I highly recommend it to anyone who likes trainer-style games. Star Channel 34 is available for PC, Mac, and Android for free on itch.io and their Patreon. There you have it! Hopefully you found some fond memories that you wish to explore in at least one of these games. Let me know which parody game is your favorite. What do you want to see me cover next? Most importantly, would you like to see me revisit and update some of these older reviews? Let me know what you think. Until next time, no shaming, just gaming. Thanks to all this month's supporters on Patreon. I wouldn't have been able to do this without you.